Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm really glad you're here with me. Um, it's just been a few weeks since I posted my um, my Halloween shop with me. Um, the air is getting fresher, it's getting cooler. Not this week, today is gonna be in the 80s. It's going to be in the 80s all week. I have my tank top on. It does not feel like it's getting cooler to this week, but it is. I feel the fresh air coming. I am so happy. I'm just so over that hot, humid weather. So I'm sure everyone's thinking about fall. You're getting those sweaters ready. You're ready for that cozy weather, that um, hot coffee, hot cocoa, or whatever you drink to get it out and enjoy the leaves falling and all that fall wonder, right? Me too. I am really happy that the summer is coming to an end. Love summer. Glad it's coming to an end. So I have been thinking a lot about Halloween, my decor for Halloween. I'm really excited. I love Halloween. Um, we're going to be doing something different outside in the yard this year. Um, usually I do like really cute inflatables in the yard, but this year it's going to be um, a little bit more spookier. I would like to get a, a graveyard going, so we'll see how that goes, but we'll have to wait on that. But today it's going to be mostly just fall content. Um, as if you know me, I in my videos, I like to do themes. I love themes. Um, in my fall videos previously, I've always done like a neutral color palette. I'm staying away from the oranges. But this year, what I would like to do is a camping s'mores theme with fall. But every time we have a campfire, we have to roast marshmallows and have some s'mores. So I love the very campy vibe. I just love it. So I would like to incorporate it into my fall this year, get my decor ready. Um, very fall camping, fall hiking, s'mores. That is gonna be my theme this year. So of course when you go shopping for fall stuff, you see almost the same stuff every year. You see a lot of um, oranges, browns, leaves, pumpkins, and of course I always have pumpkins. So this year when I went to the stores, I saw um, they have a lot of acorn themes now. A lot of squirrels, acorns, so I think they are kind of around the same idea as me, um, or maybe I just got my idea from looking around, I don't know. I did pick up a few items from Walmart, Hobby Lobby. I haven't gone to uh, a lot of other stores for fall shopping. I haven't bought a lot, but um, I did have a few things I had in mind to buy. So I did buy some, um, some acorns. So these are a dollar at Walmart. They're really, really cute. They're a little shiny. The acorns are a little shiny, but they're really cute. Um, this is what I had last year, so an acorn. Um, acorns I want to incorporate more, so these will go together. Um, I have been trying to look for some squirrels or owls or something like that. It just gives me a very woodsy vibe, the squirrels and the owls, but I haven't been able to find a lot. Um, they did have some really cute ones, but they just weren't my style, so I did not buy them. Um, I have a few DIYs I'm going to show you as well. Uh, I did have this idea with, I was going to make a garland. Well, not a garland, but more of a, a string, a string of s'mores on my mantle. Uh, I'll show you how I do that. And also I did a small little DIY that I'm gonna show you as well. So I'm really excited. So come with me and see how I do fall in my house. So first I wanted to show you my pumpkin patch. I have a few pumpkins growing, not a lot. I did not get a good crop this year at all. So I have one there and then I have a couple right here, a couple small ones. Um, my garden is just gone now. I gotta pull everything out, but these are the pumpkins I have. And I also went shopping to see if I can find some fall decor. So I went to Hobby Lobby and looked in the Christmas department. Um, everything is 50% off now. I went shopping for a string that I could use for my s'more garland. Uh, they have these. I'm not quite sure about the colors yet. Uh, they do have a lot of uh, nice natural fall themes here. I love this garland. I love the felt, but the orange is just not for me. These are the squirrels I saw. They're really cute. I decided against them. Um, but I do love these huge pine combs right here. I might get a few or maybe just one of those um, The woodsy the wood. I, I love this. I love how they look in decor and I think they're gonna go perfect with my theme So 
So here we are in the Christmas section. These are the s'mores that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna use these to make my s'mores garland for my camping theme on my mantle. I'm reusing a lot of the things that I have from previous years. I'm gonna put a few well-placed pumpkins in a neutral, woodsy, natural color palette. So I have the greens and the creams. Um, I'm also gonna use these this wood, this birch wood that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I've used it last year as well. I have more of them. I'm gonna put like, I guess, a wood pile right here in the middle. Uh, I think that'll look really nice. I'm also gonna place these dollar acorn sticks that I got from Walmart to get that woodsy feel. I'm going to add a little element of nature. These are some real acorns that I found out hiking. I thought it would be really nice to add them to a few places. So I'm going to just add a few loose ones here on the mantle. Um, I, I hope it turns out nice. It's going to look very natural and very outdoorsy in here. Now I'm going to show you how I make my s'mores garland. So I just took some ribbon here that I had on hand and I cut off some so I can make some uh, ribbon ties to hold the s'mores onto the garland. some wire so that I could string it through the s'mores because they come with a hook I took the ribbon off it that it came with the Christmas ribbon and I'm going to just string the wire through the ribbons that I made I'm going to place some pumpkins right here. I have this beautiful teal glass pumpkin and this brown pumpkin. Um, these were used last year as well. I'm just gonna place them right here on the table. I have a few fall candles from Bath & Body Works. This is white pumpkin and I had this since last Christmas. And this is Marshmallow Fireside, my favorite. I love this one. It's got beautiful leaf packaging this year. And I also have Pumpkin Bonfire. I'm gonna do a quick DIY, uh, a small craft for my theme. Uh, looking around, I notice I don't have a lot, so I'm gonna create one. I took my summer sign that says Sweet Tea on it, and I flipped it over so I could use this blank spot right here. And I'm gonna do some artwork. Fall to me is being outside and enjoying a really warm bonfire with some s'mores. It just brings back so many, many memories and that's what I'm trying to recreate here. A nice transitional sign from summer to fall. It's perfect. 
this is my shelf of woodsy, very messy decor. I have some birds here, they're so cute. This one doesn't have a face. I don't know what happened to its face, but I like the way this looks. I think this will be the perfect place for my sign. Um, I tried to put it up right here. It's really not um, staying the way I want to, so I guess I just have to just lay it just right here on the shelf. So now I'm just going to show you some bits and pieces of decor around my house. Um, these are some beautiful pieces, some gold acorns, some brown pumpkins and leaves. I love the way it looks here. It looks so elegant. And here's on another shelf. I do have some cotton that I used last year. I think it goes really well with fall. Also the birch wood and over here I put a tree. It's usually for Christmas but I think it goes perfect with my theme. Thank you so much for watching with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.